So what do you do when you have a long season like this and it's grinding on and grinding on? What are the things that remind you to keep your head up? And what are the things that inspire you to keep going when uh, all I don't, I don't know can, it's very difficult to change somebody's uh, mindset um, the way they think. And because I think it's really a, a pattern of the way you think. So um, for me, um, I can always fall back on all the times that I've gone 30 days and then the next day the buck comes walking in. Mm -hmm. So I know what can happen at any time because I've had those experiences. Um, but the other thing for me is, is just my, the way my mind works. And I don't, I don't know that it's something that I control. It's just the way I am. I always concentrate on the good. So I'm always thinking about, you know, finding the positives and everything. Um, you know, I, I think back of hunts where me and a bunch of buddies all went out to Western Wisconsin. We're all going to do this big early season hunt. It got to 85 degrees. You couldn't even wear a shirt. It was so sticky out. And uh, it was the October lull. And everybody went home. Everybody but me and, and Rat Slayer. And uh, I was like, well, what the heck? And they're like, you can't kill a deer in this weather. They don't move in the heat. They don't move at this time of the year. They don't do that. I shot one of my biggest bucks that weekend. I, I changed my, my pattern. I went and hunted water. So it's a matter of uh, trying to find the positives and the negatives. I never see things as negatives. I always see it as, well, they're doing something. What do you got to do to, to get them? Where are they in this situation? You know, what's going on? I think the guys that have the most negative attitude are the guys that can't change the way they do things that don't, don't really hunt mobile. They hunt even if they think they're hunting mobile, if you're hunting the same spots in the same way all the time, like a lot of guys always hunt with a rut type mentality, a rut type pattern, the way they set up, the way to do everything. You got to get into a mindset of hunting the deer with what they're doing and where they're going. And, and, and uh, your attitude will get better as you start seeing more deer because you're hunting in that manner. You just got to do. And another thing is too, is, is guys don't have confidence unless they do lots of scouting. So scouting will build confidence. You got to believe in your spots. You don't believe in your spot if you don't know what's going on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I found that was a major confidence booster this year. And I think that's something that's really freeing about this style of hunting is like, no matter what, there's something you can do. You know, the deer are going to bed. You know, if you're close to their bed, you know where their bed is. You're, you're going to be on them, whether they move a lot or not. Just depends how close you need to get and, and where that bed's going to occur. So it's really freeing because, you know, instead of hunting for a day to hunt, you're hunting those deer on the days you can. But Josh, what would you say for that? Um, you mean about your, your, uh, my uh, long drawn out question, the, the darkest before the dawn or whatever you said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what do you do when you feel most discouraged? What kind of brings you back from the brink? Um, I think the quicker you realize is like, nobody, nobody really cares. You know, you, you got to, you got to have that mindset that like, um, I'm trying to figure out a better way of saying Campaign. that. Yeah. Nobody cares. Work harder. You know, yeah. that that's like, that's kind of true in deer hunting. Like, um, you know, it's, it, it is what you put into it and it's not, if, if you're having a bad season, it's nobody's fault other than your, your own. Um, so feeling sorry for yourself, isn't doing yourself any good. I mean, Nobody else, it more or less, just makes you look petty and like, you know, nobody wants to be around you when you're when you're that way. I, just, I hate people who whine and cry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the thing too is you got to hang around with positive people mm -hmm. because uh, if you got somebody around you and I ain't got no all season, I uh, this, uh, me that, me that, it'll just drain you. You you'll get upset too. I mean, you got to be around with people who pump you up. So if uh, you know, uh, I'm hunting with uh, Jake and uh, and Josh here, and uh, uh, Josh is like, "Yeah, it's hot, man. This is cool. We're gonna go hunt the water holes." And Jake's like, "It's 85 degrees. Nothing's gonna move." I'm like, "Jake, <laughs> go home." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was uh, I was reading. A, I'm reading a book right now. Uh, it's a book by David Goggins, who's like a motivational guy oh, yeah. ex-marine whatever ultra marathon runner and uh when he was in his early 20s he was like you know 100 pounds overweight and working for some like pest control company pretty much depressed you know yeah. and it turns out he was 
ends up being this guy that's uh you know uh a marine he's he, he like beat the world record for most pull-ups in a day two time um, two time yeah. navy seal bud string yeah. and then yeah and, he, the class. And, yeah and people always ask him about like what uh you know why are you that way or what how did you become that way because he's like I, I was not that way when i was younger and he said his fear was like going to heaven and being this you know 100 pound overweight guy that worked as a pest control um pest controller for his whole life and god getting up there and god saying um you know you were supposed to be an ex you know a two-time uh marine and or whatever the what he what he's turned out to be so that was his motivation so i think you just got to find your motivation just keep going Great. not not make excuses hey everybody if you like the channel make sure you subscribe right here and if you like the clips i got two more options for you two options right here subscribe right here see you guys